It's been a while. Um, maybe this is the first time you've seen me. Maybe you've watched a few of my videos before. Otherwise, it's nice to be back. It's been probably like five years since I've uploaded more regularly. Today was the first day of my son's preschool. He's three. And every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, he's going to preschool for two and a half hours. And maybe you're wondering why I'm telling you about this, but basically I kind of have some time to do stuff again. <laughs> um, Eric and I are so lucky that we get to spend so much time with our kids, but now that he's in preschool, I actually wanted to spend some more time uh, getting back into YouTube. It's a format that I've really missed despite all the work that goes into making videos, I do really miss the community and connection. Anyways, I just wanted to catch up and chat about what I've been up to in the last five years. First and foremost, I had two kids. So my son, he's three years old and I have a daughter who's almost eight months old. And honestly, time has flown, it's crazy. I would have never thought when the pandemic first started and when I really kind of cut back on making YouTube videos that this would be where my life is now. Um, and I'm so incredibly grateful. Eric and I, we moved into a new house and it's our dream house. What else? Oh, we <laughs> shuttered down our online business, New Classics. This year would have marked the 10th year anniversary of New Classics. And after having two kids, I just realized I didn't have enough time to spend on the business. I just realized that my priorities had shifted and so uh, we shuttered it down just this past month or so uh, and now we have even more time to spend with our kids uh, even though now Jacob's in preschool. So anyways that happened. That was just to get you guys up to speed as to what's been going on in my life. In terms of getting back onto YouTube, I did have a few hesitations. Um, I really wanted it to be a family decision because now it's not just about me, it's about my kids as well. Um, and as someone who has been chronically online since 2011, making the decision to keep my kids off of my social media has been a conscious one, of course, but it's also something that I kind of teeter back and forth on. Um, you know, I'm not perfect by any means. I have very conflicting opinions. And like most parents, like I love sharing about my children. I'm so proud of them. I love them so much. And they are such they're like 99% of my day. If you look at my phone's camera roll, it's just photos of my kids. So it's hard to make lifestyle content without involving my kids. And so I really had to spend some time thinking about how I would approach YouTube while also respecting my children and my partner and my family. So I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, you know, Eric and I, we love to travel. We have some travel plans. And with our last travel vlogs to France, we did show my son. Um, and it's something that we both love watching together every now and then. And I know that moving forward, we're gonna wanna film travel vlogs, but yeah, I'm not really sure how I want to approach it yet. My husband is more like, eh, it doesn't really matter. But for me, I think I'm just more conscious about his digital footprint because I'm so online. But with that being said, I heard you guys loud and clear when I asked you on Instagram what kind of content you wanted to see on my channel. And vlogs were probably the number one mentioned thing. So, so I will do my best <laughs> and I will figure out whatever is going on in this tornado of a brain of mine. And I'll figure out how to do it in a respectful way that is considerate of my family. I also want to get back into some beauty and fashion videos. So if you follow me on Instagram, maybe you see that I've started doing more makeup slash beauty centered Instagram reels. Um, I'll also be doing that on here, but definitely more in depth because that's what YouTube is. It's more of a conversation and it allows me to get into the nitty gritty details of things. So if you have any other suggestions as to what kind of videos you'd like to see from me, please let me know. 
Otherwise, I don't necessarily think I'm that interesting of a person, so uh, <laughs> this might be more difficult than I thought it would be. But I'm going to try this YouTube thing out. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> As always, thank you everybody for watching this, for giving me feedback. I appreciate it and I'm really excited for what's to come. So I hope you guys stick around. Okay, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.